Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time. We have a selection of different items received in this mailbag video and I'm gonna start with this set of replacement cassette tapes for my label printer. You've seen me order these before but now I got some different variations which I thought would be interesting to try. I have black on clear tape which would be nice for sticking on a white surface and have only the black text visible as a nice contrast with the white background and then I have some standard black on white because uh, I use this stuff everywhere for labeling everything this is uh, white on uh, clear tape which would be good for sticking on a black surface to have just the white text visible then I have white on uh, black tape which could be uh, general purpose or for sticking on dark surfaces and one that seemed very interesting I have this one which is black on white tape but it's security tape so I'm guessing this could be used like a seal let's just try this and see how it works out okay and now let's see what happens if I stick this on a uh, smooth surface I just want to make sure that's, that it's well adhered to the uh, surface. So let's try to peel this off and see if anything happens. Yeah, that's really cool. So this really works as a security tape for stuff that you want sealed, that you don't want anyone poking inside. But of course, since you can get this on AliExpress, anyone can buy this and make their own labels. So. I'm not sure how much this would help. It's not like the real security tape, but it might work in some cases. PCBWay.com is the place to get your professional PCBs with affordable pricing and right now they are celebrating their 6th year anniversary and that means you can get good discounts on ordering your PCBs with these free coupons available on their website. You can save up to $200 depending on how much your order value is. Definitely a good time to be ordering your boards. In a previous mailbag I showed getting this headlamp, it's really nice for the price, I mean uh, quality wise it's, it's not the best plastic but considering the price and the functionality you get out of this, I find this a very good headlamp. It's got both a, a flood and a, a throw type LED and overall this headlamp is very light and compact. The downside is that the battery is built in, it's not user replaceable because I would have loved to put a better cell in there with higher capacity. So I decided to order a uh, similar model which had a uh, user replaceable battery and here it is. It seems to be made by the same uh, no-name company, I mean it has the same head strap and the plastic seems very uh, uh, similar. But I immediately regret the choice because first of all this is twice the size of the original one and uh, it, it lacks the, the magnet on the side which is great for attaching to metal surfaces and overall uh, this seems like a lower build quality inside everything rattles and the light output seems worse so I can't recommend getting this one I would say stick with the model that has the built-in battery uh, it's better built it's lighter and a better flashlight overall with the downside of uh, not being able to access the internal battery. Next I have a few angled nozzles for my uh, hot air station. As you may know I'm very happy with how the best 863 hot air station performs. I reviewed this in Volog 256 and ever since I've been using it with no issues. One thing I would complain though is that the hose length is, is rather short for this model. It's something like 90 centimeters long which is okay for my small bench but even for me I need to work closer to the station than I would normally like to do uh, but other than that no complaints the, the station works really nice. By default this uh, best uh, station only comes with these uh, straight nozzles in the box but sometimes you might prefer to work with an angled nozzle uh, especially under a uh, microscope and so I looked around and found these uh, quick station compatible nozzles but I figured they must be the uh, uh, same diameter as the ones from uh, quick and I ordered some indeed uh, they are the same diameter and fit the uh, best station 
they are just a bit loose when compared to the original best nozzles but I think that's just because they might be of uh, lower quality thinner metal it's it's not a big issue they are not falling off from the the handle and if you want you can maybe like scuff the edge on these uh, uh, nozzles put some small dents in here to make them fit tighter but I don't think that's even necessary it, it fits okay it's not going to fall a while ago I was uh, working on my car and dropped the screw luckily it didn't went too deep so I was able to pick it up by using a small magnet attached to an extension socket but immediately after that uh, event I went on Aliexpress and ordered myself one of these this is like a gooseneck type attachment with a magnet at the end uh, I also got a telescopic one which I know I received but I can't find it right now uh, this is only half a meter long uh, but I guess that is uh, enough for most situations at least when working on a small car there's usually enough room to also slide in your hand partially which would extend the range of this tool this is one of those tools that you wouldn't think you need it until the day when you drop a screw in the middle of a job and then you can't reach it. As usual, a link to uh, this item will be placed in the description below the video. In a previous video I showed getting this type of uh, deburring tool, but it only came with one, a single one of these uh, knife attachments and I figured that would go dull pretty fast once I start using it on, on some metal, so I decided to order some spares it turns out I found a cheaper offer for the tool plus spares than it was to order the spares alone. So now I have a second tool and a bunch of uh, spare blades. This works really well with uh, 3D printed parts as well, but uh, also with metals when drilling holes into various panels and enclosures, this can help to, to clean those easily. Many years ago I had one of these uh, micro SD USB card reader adapters which I got when I purchased like my first 4 gigabytes micro SD card and uh, I remember how big it seemed back then uh, the capacity but I enjoyed very much using this uh, small micro SD card reader because it is much more convenient to like insert a uh, micro SD card in here than it is with uh, other types of uh, card readers and then you can just plug this into a front panel USB it's much more convenient when you compare this type of attachment with one of those classic uh, multi-card readers the original reader I had failed after some years of usage but recently I decided to order one of these from Aliexpress they're not available in local shops anymore and this is the one I received not sure if this is like genuine Kingston or a copy but it works the same it's USB 2.0 so you're not going to get very high speeds but I don't really need high speeds when I'm working with these micro SD cards I just like the convenience of using this type of reader next I have two different styles of uh, 7 pin uh, 0.1 inch pitch JST XH type cables with connectors and this one has the uh, female connector on one end while uh, uh, this other type has the female connectors on both ends and this is for the NPS 1601 project the open source control panel I'm working on for the popular power supply the interface between the control board and the uh, uh, power supply is uh, one of these seven pin connectors and I want to keep this uh, project plug and play and that means I have to research these uh, cabling options to find something that's available off the shelf and so far uh, this model with two connectors seems like a good choice because it will allow this connection on both ends for easy uh, servicing and removal of the front panel next I will continue with some items I'm researching for the uh, same project so this is a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack with uh, just uh, uh, three connections ground left and right channel connection and this is like a panel mount type connector and I like how, I like how this one feels and how it looks and um, I also like the fact that it's pretty small so this could go either on the front panel or the back panel of the new uh, power supply control panel to allow connection for a remote temperature sensor that could be used for battery monitoring during uh, charging if we ever get around to implementing that feature in the new power supply control panel so yeah this uh, seems like a good choice for some compact uh, panel mount 3.5 millimeter jack connectors Next I ordered a couple of different style potentiometer knobs and uh, these ones feel too big for the size of the front panel where the available area is already very limited 
but they are nice nonetheless uh, these other ones which are smaller uh, look like a good choice they are a similar diameter through the original knob on the power supply uh, but they are a bit longer so we'll see how that works out it's pretty difficult to find these uh, uh, good knobs in the perfect size on aliexpress because they mostly sell those big plastic knobs and if you're looking for something like higher quality like these aluminum knobs uh, they're really hard to find in in the size that you're looking for uh, these ones attach with a small grab screw and they come with a small allen key in the package unfortunately the shape of the insert is not exactly a perfect match for the rotary encoder shaft that we are using but we'll see how that uh, works out in the end i accidentally stumbled on these uh, soft uh, rubber tactile switches and i just had to order a few just to check them out because instead of the uh, plastic uh, knob which you usually get uh, these have a soft rubber and they provide a totally different feedback sensation uh, to the user uh, than the plastic ones and i very much prefer the feel of these and they are a potential candidate as the on off button for the new power supply control panel uh, but i'll have to test these on the actual power supply to figure out if they do the job fine uh, but I, so far i'm really liking the feedback on these is somewhat similar to a soft membrane keypad but it's all contained into a tactile switch which is a big plus for diy projects check out the link for these in the description below also for the uh, power supply control panel we are going to have a control board uh, sandwich with the actual front cover and that means we need a way for the status LED which is surface mount on the control board to be present on the front cover without lighting up the whole space in between so uh, I ordered some of these acrylic type filled rods uh, which could work as light pipes I'm not sure how efficient these are we wouldn't need too much though we'll, for just a status LED and if I find they shine too much light sideways I can just shield them with some aluminum tape the only issue which would remain is how do you attach these mechanically you could design like a 3d printed part but that's uh, but that adds an extra step and not everyone has a 3d printer uh, ideally this would be a proper light pipe part with some kind of uh, mounting clip that would clip into the pcb which would keep it attached but i couldn't find anything like that on aliexpress and shopping around on digikey or mouser is not really a good option for such an open source project that anyone should be able to build with uh, easy to source parts and uh, minimal costs but if you have other ideas let me know in the comments below i also got a couple of these alligator clip type holding blocks i guess these are usually found in office supplies maybe they are designed to hold a post-it or some card on your desk i don't know what the original purpose is but i find these uh, useful for holding small breakout boards wires while testing soldering and working with them on the bench the only downside is that these are not heavy enough in the base so uh, they will tend to tip over at some point uh, but I think I can fix that by, by, by maybe drilling a hole in the cube and inserting some weights in here. I ordered this uh, cheap uh, kitchen timer. I think it's useful to have something like this on the uh, uh, electronics workbench when you're trying to capture stuff on video and you also want to display a timer. Uh, also useful for timing stuff like reflow stages on a hot plate uh, this is just a very basic timer model that you can find one of the cheapest ones on aliexpress there are of course nicer ones which you can get but you'd have to be uh, willing to spend like more than ten dollars for something like this and that might be worth it if you want to use it uh, in your kitchen and you want something that looks nice but for the bench one of these is gonna do the job just fine a while ago i mentioned getting the wrong length of wire for my microscope slash camera slash monitor setup uh, back then i ordered a 0.5 meter long cable which unfortunately was just 10 centimeters too short to fit my setup and i really like uh, that one uh, which I got earlier because it was thinner and softer easy to bend but un unfortunately I couldn't find anything similar in a 75 centimeters length it seems this is like an odd value of length not very popular so uh, the best I could find was uh, this one which is 
not as flexible it's it's thicker than the previous one but at least it it has the proper length at 75 centimeters uh, which i need to run it between the camera and the monitor and also uh, being just 75 centimeters long it means it doesn't create a mess of wires in my setup the brand is U Green, which is not the first time i'm getting uh, they're not the the best quality but they are certainly decent certainly better when compared to the very cheap items you can get on aliexpress and uh, here is uh, some images with how this 75 centimeters long hdmi wire goes between my monitor and my camera if you're looking for a similar setup uh, you will need at least 75 centimeters of hdmi cable and since we're talking about cables, I also ordered another USB Type-C cable from Base US. This one though is rated for 100 watts because with uh, USB Type-C and power delivery, um, not all cables are created equally with the most common ones only being rated for 65 watts. This one, however, is rated for 100 watts and I believe it has the associated chip to signal that. There is a lot to talk about power delivery and ratings of these uh, cables, but I'm not an expert on that subject and uh, all I know is that there are some charges out there that will put out 100 watts without checking that the cable uh, has the chip to signal that and it's uh, being rated for 100 watts and that can lead to problems those cables can can melt and i don't have a particular need for 100 watts over usb type c all of my gadgets go up to 65 watts maximum but i just wanted to have one of these around just in case one thing to keep in mind this is more of a charging cable because while looking on the specs uh, this is only rated for uh, 480 megabits uh, per second for the data connection which is like usb 2.0 uh, data transfer rate so this would not be very useful if you're looking for 5, gig 5 gigabits or 10 gigabits uh, transfer rates this is mostly for charging and my last item for this mailbag it's a 5 meter roll of 2835 led tape and this is rated for 12 volts 5000 k temperature color which is not too warm not too cold i hope just perfect for video shooting uh, and subject illumination and most importantly this uh, has a high cri of over 95 which should help with uh, color rendering on my videos this stuff is not cheap but the result should be much better than what you get with the cheap tape at least uh, for the kind of application that i'm going to use it for I plan to make these uh, square panels, maybe uh, stick some rows of this lead tape on some thin aluminium panels that would act as uh, heat sinks if this gets hot in any way and uh, place those around the bench for improving the uh, uh, lighting and which should result in better video quality. Uh, then I could simply power these from uh, a 12 volt power supply. This is a 12 volts rated uh, LED uh, tape and I don't think I'm going to use any PWM driver for this I'm probably just going to have like a low and high settings controlled from a uh, fixed switch because I don't want to introduce more EMI around my bench uh, which would be generated by uh, cheap LED drivers I'm interested in hearing if you found something interesting if you ordered any of these items let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to see more mailbag videos just click here for a playlist with all of my mailbag videos you can support the Voldog channel on Patreon with as little as $1 per month to keep these videos coming. Thank you for watching, I appreciate your support and I'll see you next time with a new video.